Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 204. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 185 to 202. Hey, but wait a second, if this is trick 204 and this was trick 203, why is it say, ah, that's because I named it this and added two more tricks. Don't, so don't forget, if you're going to download it for 203 or 204, you got to get this workbook, 185 to 202. Hey, this is, uh, uh, sum if we just did 22 sum or 21 sum ifs over here, but I want to show you how to do case sensitive and it's an array formula. But we'll use the sum products. So we're going to say click in this cell right here. And as we noted over in this video, if Sue is spelled with a little s and there's a Sue over here with the big S, but you really only want the big S's, here's a formula that will work sum product, which will allow us to do an array formula without having to control shift enter which is the keyboard shortcut for array the first thing we want is exact and exact is a function that can find uh, that knows how to uh, look at case sensitive exact I can't uh, there it is and it takes two, two text strings and says if they're exactly the same so if we clicked here and then here it would be no because they're not because there's a little s here and a big s here but this is the array part we want to check the whole thing here that whole range including the blanks comma that'll be our, our bunch of text comma against this one sue right here so really the exact this is an array so it'll give us a bunch of trues and falses is this exactly including case capital letters and lowercase letters exactly is the same as any of those if you were to highlight this and use your F9 key you'd see that it gives you a bunch of trues and falses I'm going to control Z what we want to do is then multiply by our sales column because true times any number is that number just like one times that uh, one times any number is that number so then we can close parentheses on the sum product and just enter. And that will add just Sue with a capital S. All right, we'll see you next trick.